Hi Geeks, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different on my channel and I'm going to be showing you my entire magazine collection. I've never done this before and I've never seen that many people on YouTube do it before. But I just have so many and they're all movie related and I really really love them. But there's one that I got for my birthday the other day it made me just have to do this video and I can't wait for you to see it. I am going to be splitting the videos up into three parts because there is that many magazine. I'm going to be showing you my, my oldest slash least favourite magazines first to my newest most favourite magazines last. So let's get started. So here are the magazines and the first one I'm going to show you is probably probably my least favourite one and the one that I'm going to get rid of like very probably probably very soon. Um, also most of my magazines are Empire or Total Film. Like 90% are them two magazines because I just think they have the best con content and the best covers and 99% of the time I am not joking I will literally buy a magazine just for the cover but I didn't buy this one I was given this one and it does a reveal thing but I, I don't like the movie I don't like the cover so I'm, this one is going to be given away next one is another one that I was given still after watching Gone Girl, I love the cover because I absolutely love Gone Girl. It is probably one of my favourite thriller films. Oh my god, Groot. Uh, one of my favourite thriller films ever, mysteries ever. Um, it's amazing. So it's made me love the magazine even more. So now I have two Spider-Man uh, magazines, one from Empire and one from Total Film. This is Total Film and that one's Empire. I got these two because I was so excited for Spider-Man 2, not realising that it was going to be the film it was. Still, I do like the covers. I mean, both of them are quite nice. Um, this one being my favourite because, I don't know, I just like them. I just don't like what the movie is though I'm still very very bitter about the movie and then the next one I think this might be the oldest one I have this is from 2012 by the way I don't like to get rid of magazines I really don't like to get rid of them I like to keep them as long as I possibly can I don't know why I think I'm just a bit of a hoarder when it comes to magazines anyway this is for the Hobbit and Unexpected Journey and the next one is Hobbit the Battle of the Five Armies I don't have the desolation of Solemn and I don't know why I don't even know if I had a magazine that year, but if it did, I probably I wish I got it cause to, you know, go with the trilogy. But um, this one's nice, but I think that one's better purely because of the smog right there. So the next is Total Films Wolverine issue, and I'm not really that big a fan of the movie. I have to say, I really didn't like. Oh, good lord. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, I'm really not a fan of the Wolverine movie, the Wolverine, uh, because, I don't know, it's just, it wasn't really what I wanted. I think Logan is superior, but, um, yeah, so this is Wolverine, and I'm not a big fan of it, I have to say. Horns, I was actually just thinking about this film the, uh, today. I really want to watch it, just because um, of Daniel Radcliffe, and I think I got this because you got two Star Wars posters right there. And they're still up on my wall, and this is from 2014, and they are still up on my wall. You can see them in previous videos. I like the cover because it has a lot going on. It's really, really stylish and beautiful, so I'll definitely keep this one. The next, I actually put this one on my Instagram. It's like one of my, um, a few of the first pictures I put on my Instagram because I just wanted to put stuff on. But uh, I put this on, and um, I think I got like... I don't know, 60 to 100 likes, and I was over the moon. <laughs> it was probably one of the first like time I got over 10 likes on an Instagram um, post. By the way, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's just at Aaron Bicer. I mean, this is a nice uh, magazine. I really, really like it. And I just, nah, I'm, this one I'm not going to get rid of because it's just really like it. Okay. The next one is Empire's 300 Director's Cuts. And I haven't seen this one yet. I haven't. Seen, it's really thick, like it's thicker than like most of them. But um, it's just telling you all about the director's cut, and I love a good director's cut. So I will probably have to reread this one to see what they have. And the next one is just a cute little one. It's the Guardians of the Galaxy um, official movie special, and I think uh, it has like. It has really fun stuff and it has characters, it has a comic inside, it has a poster 
and I remember just flicking through this for like ages and I really really liked it um and thankfully the movie was amazing so the next two are basically the same the Empire's Guardians of the Galaxy one the, the villain cover and the hero cover and I had to special order this from I don't know America I think it was uh, because they didn't do it in England, so I had to order it separately. But I love them both. This one's I think, is definitely superior to this one. Even though I like this one, it's just, I think, watching the film, these were better. Normally, for me, the villains steal the show in some cases, and I don't feel like the villains stole the show in this case. And you will see that I do buy magazines just for the covers, and even the same magazine multiple times when it's like a collection thing and I just I don't know I just think that's so stupid but I love doing it I thought I'd put the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in another pile but I think I put it in all together just so I can show you all but yeah this is um so this is the four that I have so this is the episode actually um I'll put it side by side yeah so this is the 2014 one 2017 one and I love looking at them because you know you can just see how the style has changed over the years and um, this one, if you're comparing the two, I think this one is just much, much better. But if I'm comparing it by, by itself, it is still a beautiful magazine. So we are almost to the end. We only have two more to go. Uh, so the next one is Empire's 301 of the greatest movies of all time. It has, it comes with um, Transformers 4 poster, you can, so you can tell how old it is. But it comes with the Transformers 4 poster, which I still haven't um, opened because it, the post itself is not it's not that great uh, there it is uh, but i'm not gonna have it um anyway so it's just the greatest movies of all time the 300, 301 greatest movies of all time and i have seen quite a few of them i might actually just go ahead and tick some of them to see how many i've seen but um it's really i, I really really like this one so yeah that's a good one and then the last all out of the pile is is the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 magazine from Empire. And I love this because I love the way she's holding the bow and arrow. Because I absolutely love bow and arrows and I love the Hunger Games. And the movie itself I did like. I think that it could have been better and I think it definitely did not need to be split into two parts. I think that was just a, oh, such a mistake. Anyway, um... This is the last one, and I don't, I don't even remember reading through it. I think I just got it literally for the cover. God, I have a people should just take my money away from me, Jesus. Uh, anyway, yeah. So that's the last one. Really, really good. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, part part two and three will be coming up soon. And tell me if you have a magazine collection as well, because I don't want to seem as crazy as I do right now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.